You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! No, let, I'm a, before the first King of the Dot battle, did you battle Danny Myers before King of the Dot, right? No, no, that was on King of the Dot. That was on King of the Dot. Okay, was that was that before Tycoon Tax? Because I got my rum, rum, rum nitty, nitty story, but I'm gonna tell you if yeah, 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 it was it, it was right before Tycoon Tax. Right before. Okay, so let's let's do yeah, this. I believe that that's what got me the Tycoon Tax battle. Let's do this. You versus Danny. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's your first classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was definitely. Right. Okay. Over here, I don't know how it is in New York. Over here, we lost our motherfucking minds on that battle. You ever know? Well, you you don't know. For for people from New York, if y'all know, um, the first like like out of town tapes we was playing was pretty much like Scarface, the Ghetto Boys, N.W.A. type shit. Like we was hooked on shit like that. You know what I'm saying? All the Master P joints and shit. Cause we was bumping all New York shit in the '90s until that shit came out. We was like, yeah, we rock with these niggas. You were like one of the dudes that really transcend over to like to New York feel. When we seen you, you was like, yo, why is this nigga punching so fucking crazy? Like, who is this nigga? Yeah, that's crazy. You feel what I'm saying? And the, and, and, the, yeah. and, the, and the energy Danny brung, brung to you as well. Y'all was going back and forth. That solidified rum nitty right there to the fans that were on, on, on not knowing. You understand what I'm saying? What did that yeah. battle with you and how did that battle even get set up? If you even knew Danny, or if you didn't knew Danny, and what did that do? Nah, for you? Um, what's crazy about that battle is, um, at that time, Danny was a bigger name than me, mm-hmm. and uh, um, KG was still battling. That was supposed to be the battle. Shout out to it was KG, to KG and Danny Myers. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, um, shout out to my nigga KG. He, he threw me the alley oop. He was like, you know what? I guess he, at that time he felt like he was like, you know, he felt like he was past Danny Myers at that time. Mm. So I, felt, I, I think they gave him lot of Zay at that time. And he gave me Danny Myers, basically. So right. he was like, instead of me battling Danny Myers, l- let my bro battle him. You feel me? Put him on. Nice. So they, and they just basically took his word. You know nice. what I'm saying? They seen my footage, but they basically took his word and nice. gave me Danny Myers off that. Nice, nice. So you didn't know Danny from a hole in the wall, pretty much. You just pretty much knew that. Say it again? You ain't know Danny Myers from a hole in the wall yet. You just like, Nah, nah. I, I mean, I, I actually knew of him, though, because like I said, he was a bigger he was a bigger name than me at the time. What did that, what did that battle do for you, man? In your eyes, ah uh, man, I feel like that was that that battle made me believe that I can I can actually do something with this shit. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie, cause um, like I said, when I started in the city, it was just for betting. I ain't really have no intention on being no battle rapper, and battle rap wasn't what it was at the time. You know what I'm saying? Got you. I just wanted to get some extra bread, probably get a little no, uh, notoriety, and go on about my business. Got you. you got saying? you. Got you. Um. I'm going to tell my, here's my, my time to tell my rum nitty story. I went to Canada because, you know, I was just traveling. That's when Queen of the Ring was getting hot around that time. And I said, let me just show my face around and do what I do. There was a dude that you battled by the name of Tycoon Tax. He was actually nice. He was, he was decent. Right. But when I seen you go, I looked around. And I said, hold the fuck up. Who is this nigga? And why is he here? He needs to be on you, respectfully speaking, to King of the Dot, but you know how it is, you know, like. Right, right. I said, this nigga needs to be on the URL stage fast, like quick. I didn't know you from a hole in the ball. You know what I'm saying? I don't even remember if I even probably shook your hand or anything, but that's what I, I said in my head. I said, he's going to get there eventually. Yeah, that's crazy. He's going to get there eventually. How do you feel, respect to King of the Dot, you know what I'm saying? What did that, like, trip that transcend? What did that do for you being on that platform? And was it a culture shot getting out of Arizona? And, and hitting the uh, Canada platform, it was a culture shock. I might even go a lot. I was, I was. It was surreal at the time. You know what I'm saying? I got off the plane in shorts, fool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got off the plane in shorts, a a vest. Wow. I had a vest on, nigga. No mm. sleeves on the vest. Mm. With a long, I'm I'm out there, bitch, looking like a real Arizona nigga, like mm. been out the city type shit. Mm. I get off the plane freezing, like you. I think who was there at the time? I might have been more of one. So one of them niggas was like, bro, this nigga's tripping. <laughs> this nigga's tripping like this nigga. Shout out to Maul. Yeah, man. Um, man, I, it was just surreal. And then that was the biggest crowd I ever been in front of in my life. Right. Rap, anything. You know what I'm saying? Right. In any, in any point in time. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I was more proud of myself that I handled it the way I handled it. I'm not going to lie. I thought I was going to get up there and talk. Nah, but that's that's the thing. When, I, when, you, when you was rap, I said, yo, he got the poise of like a experienced battle rapper like he been 
been doing this before. He must have had a gang of motherfucking battles. I ain't know you was fresh and new to the scene and shit like that. So yes. it, 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 it was it was crazy. Um, fifteen minutes of fame. You are now listening to fifteen minutes of fame. Radio. Let's go.